<laughs> well, four days into hurricane season, all is quiet in the Atlantic, please. Yes, for now at least. For now, CBS 17 Storm Team Meteorologist Dave Downey digging deeper tonight, showing us where most June tropical storms form and tend to make landfall. Indeed, all is quiet on the Atlantic front, but that may not last for too much longer. First, let's look at storms that have impacted North Carolina in the month of June. Since 1950, there's 20 of them as they pop up here. So on average, one storm every three or four years. Most of them tropical depressions, the green lines. The blue lines are remnants of storms. Tropical storms are the yellow lines. And there's one hurricane here. That was Hurricane Alma back in 1966. The most recent one kind of buried back in there, Tropical Storm Claudette, three years ago. Let's zoom out, see where most of these storms came from. Three major hot spots, the Gulf of Mexico, the Western Caribbean Sea, south of Cuba, and north of the Bahamas there as well. And that's typically where just about all June storms form. Typically, the Gulf storms head north towards Texas or towards Louisiana, but then they head east and can impact us as remnants of storms. Caribbean storms, they typically head west towards the Yucatan Peninsula, Mexico, Mexico or north into the eastern Gulf of Mexico towards Florida. And then there's the Bahamian storms. They head north either towards us or head out to sea with a northeasterly recurved turn. Now, hurricane stories this time of the year are not complete without a look. At the ocean temperatures, you saw that Wrightsville beach temp well into the 70s. All you need is 80 degrees to sustain a hurricane. And as we've discussed last week, these numbers are two months ahead of schedule. Right now, there's too much wind shear for anything to form, but that is going to start to change later this month, especially in the Western Caribbean. We'll be watching it very closely. Dave Downey, CBS 17 News.